Welcome to this channel. When we discuss physics informed neural networks, we think about networks that are using physics equations to solve a physical problem. This is correct, of course. However, what we want to discuss in this uh, video is the types and varieties of these physics informed neural networks or physics related neural networks. We have mainly four types of these uh, networks that we are going to discuss, discuss it in this video. We will consider the architectures, the equation or the network architectures, the equations that uh, these networks is going to solve and the type of data that these networks acquire. The first one is physics informed neural network, which is PINs. And pins is, we will have a network that will have from uh, one side of it is the x, y, the spatial uh, domain or the spatial coordinates and sometimes some parameters depending on the network itself. And from the other side, it will give us the value of interest with it. It is uh, velocity uh, in the x direction, velocity in the y direction, uh, pressure, anything we want to calculate. We will take these values and we will calculate the loss. The loss will be calculated based on the physics problem or the physics equation itself. The data we are going to use in this problem are data that are mainly two types of data. The first one is the data that enforces the initial condition and boundary condition that will keep teaching the network that at the boundary condition, these are the values, and the initial condition, these are the values. The other type of data is the PDE or partial differential equation related data that we will calculate, of course, the PDE loss, the, the loss related to these uh, type of data. And these are the domain points inside the boundary condition and the initial condition. These points have to follow the equations that is going to that they are going to be calculated from the loss function this type of uh, neural networks doesn't really require us to have a, a prior knowledge of like let's say simulation data or um, uh, real experimental data we simply use the initial condition and boundary condition as the data along with the domain points that we are going to create that has to follow the loss function as also the data. This kind of networks can solve the problem without any external data. We simply, as I said, we will create our own data. So these are the first type of uh, like using ne ne neural networks with, to solve physical uh, problem, which is PINs, Physics Informed Neural Networks. The second type is I pins or inverse physics informed neural network. And this kind of networks will it well uses the well the same architectures. We will have X and Y as an input. On the other hand, we will have the uh, the value of uh, of interest like velocity and pressure and so on. But this time we will solve an inverse problem. And in first problem is we will try to calculate a property value. So we will have the network that is supposed that the pins, it's the same pins problem, the same pins network that supposed to solve these uh, values. However, this time we will use an actual data. This data can come from another simulation or it can come from an actual experimental data. For example, if you're trying to solve the fluid and you have, uh, let's say, PIV data, which is the, uh, the, the, the flow that it's a way to an experimental way that we can actually map the flow field, the, the, the whole flow field of the, um, of the flow of interest or a section of the flow. So if you have this kind of uh, these kind of data, you can actually use this data to solve 
uh, or inverse uh, use the inverse pins uh, along with this uh, experimental based uh, generated uh, data to solve something that uh, for example the viscosity of the fluid which is hard to actually calculate or i would say like to measure so you can see what is the best value of viscosity that matches this flow field and of course if you calculate the viscosity you can even calculate more like for example if you don't have the pressure reading you can actually calculate the pressure it's a long story however it will the, the main uh, issue here we will have a pins network but this time we will modify it and we will add the parameter which is the viscosity and we want to find this viscosity as a parameter that has to reduce the loss as much as possible and if we do that compared with the data we will have a very accurate or better accuracy like a good accuracy of the viscosity of the fluid so this is ipens or inverse physics informed neural networks the third type of uh, physically related neural networks is deep neural operator this type of networks in we don't need equations we simply use only data we will have a unique architecture that it will have a like kind of um, what would we call it um, uh, like a domain knowledge of the whole domain so a network that will will cover the whole domain get some knowledge from the whole domain and a point uh, at the, the point of interest that we are going to predict and of course we try to um, we will pass it into this network and then we will get the value this is the architecture of it and of course the loss uh, has to basically mimic like we need to reduce the loss between the neural network output or um, or uh, the deep neural uh, operator network output and the actual data that we have the problem is this kind of networks it require a lot of data to actually understand the physics one of the applications and very very actually important application of it is the uh, use of uh, these networks to predict the weather because the flu the fluid of the weather it has some kind of um pattern that is a little bit hard to only uh, using only cfd to predict it so these networks come very uh, handy uh, to uh, to be used for predicting the weather the last type of um, physics related networks is the physics informed neural operator and or physics informed deep neural operator and in this problem we we merge between the pins concept which is using neural networks to solve a specific problems and the uh, output of um, uh, and the architecture of the neural operator so rather than having a simply um, let's say fully connected networks or a network that will have x and y uh, as uh, x and, and y as an input we will have x and y in the whole uh, like computation domain as an input and then we uh, improve our prediction as expected this type of um, pins or it will require of course uh, 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 more time to train however it will give us in general a better accuracy so with that we understand the general uh, as a, a high level uh, uh, zoom out of the whole um, uh, pins related problems